Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to jump on here to show you how to make a super quick meal that is amazingly tasty for just one or two people. Because I, for the most part, cook for myself all the time. I have another person that lives with me, my daughter. Um, but, you know, you don't always want to make an entire turkey dinner when there's just one or two people. And around the holidays is a tough thing because most people don't want to make a great big meal just for one or two people. So this is a great alternative. So I'm going to show you how we do this. What I have here is just a little three pound uh, Cornish hen. And that really will feed one or two people with three pounds of meat in that little bird. Believe it or not, there's that much in that little bird. And so what I'm going to do is I have here a box of instant stuffing. I mean, you can go all out and make it homemade if you want, but I just cheated and got a box of homemade stuffing. And I have over here my water and butter already measured out. And I put in there a, a cube of chicken bouillon to kind of kick up the chicken flavor in it and a little bit of Mrs. Dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in with my stuffing. And also, to add a little bit more of the homemade flavor, I have browned some a little bit of onion with some celery salt that I sprinkled on top of that just to give the celery flavor along with the other onion flavor because I know a lot of people will dice up and slice um, onion and celery and saute that for their fresh homemade uh, dressing, but I did not feel like going all that out that far out, so I just diced up my onion and sprinkled it with celery salt. And like I said, I did brown it, so it's pretty brown, actually nicely brown, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that in there with my stuffing. It smells good already. Move my seasonings out of the way so I can show what I'm doing with my potatoes and carrots here in a minute. And I'm just going to take that and mix that up. And I'll show you what that looks like. And with the stuffing, all I did is follow the box instructions and added to my water, uh, like I said, a cube of chicken bouillon and a little bit of seasoning. You can season it however you like. There's that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my uh, Cornish hen and I have some butter here and I'm just going to lift the skin up on the breast. Take your finger and put it underneath there and pull up the skin and start shoving the butter underneath there. Now these are like the, about <laughs> tablespoon size. So I'm only going to use two of them because I don't need a fourth cup of butter in my little hen. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and shove one down inside of him just to make him taste better. So there's that. There's my little hen, I put the butter in. And then I'm gonna use my farm dust that, got, that has pink Himalayan salt in it. And I'm gonna just sprinkle on the outside of him or it, whatever it is. <laughs> As you can see, I just coated him. And I'm gonna put it in my little roaster pan here. That's just about the right size for it. If you've got a roaster pan, a small one. And I'm gonna take my stuffing and I'm gonna put it inside of my little bird. And it gets the flavor of the, the little chicken all these Cornish hens are is just a small chicken. Um, I'm not quite sure of their breed. I don't even claim to know the breed of it, how that it, how that works, but it tastes just like chicken. There really is no difference between the taste of this and a chicken. They're just smaller, and I personally think they're a little bit richer, which I really like. Um, I lined my pan with uh, parchment paper just for the ease of cleaning up. Because you know how things, they bake on and they stick on. Oops, got a little messy there. But I just took my stuffing, put it in the front of that bird. 
and some in the back. Looks pretty already. See? Looks so good. Let me get this out of here. And then I'm going to take, I have three small yellow potatoes that I just cut up and four carrots that I just cut up in little pieces and a little bit of onion that I had left in my fridge. Because you know when you cook for one or two, you tend to run into a lot of leftover little odds and ends. So this is a way to make great use of those things. So I put a little bit of olive oil on that and I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on my potatoes and carrots and onion. And then I have garlic and herb dash. And I put a good dusting of that on there. And a little bit more of our Himalayan salt-based farm dust. And this has in it, and if you have these items separate, you can obviously make your own blend. It's got uh, the Himalayan salt, dried onion, garlic, black pepper, fennel, marjoram, thyme, rosemary, savory, has sage, oregano, and basil. That's what's in this Himalayan farm dust. And a lot of these expensive blends, even like the dash, um, if you do a lot of cooking, you probably already have a lot of these separate herbs on hand. All you got to do is follow equal portions and you can make up your own seasoned blends at home. Probably for the fraction of the cost, I'm sure. So what I'm doing is just taking these vegetables and mixing them well. And you can do this with the same hands because it's all, it's not cooked, none of it is. Where you get the troubles when you mix cooked with uncooked foods. But these are not cooked. So I'm just going to take my potatoes and carrots and onion. And stick them around this little bird here. Now it's going to be full, but it'll cook. Take about an hour to cook. I'm going to cook this at 350 for an hour and you want to make sure your bird reaches 100 to 180 degrees internal temperature at the deepest point of the breast with a meat thermometer or a digital thermometer once your bird reaches 180 degrees you want to take it out right away because you don't want to overcook this little bird it's not a big bird so you don't want to overcook it now this is a full pan obviously so it is going to take a little bit of time to cook um, but once that bird is 180 degrees, you'll want to take it out. Now I'm going to cook it covered for about a half an hour. And then I'm going to take the lid off and let it cook for another half an hour till everything on here is nice and golden brown and done. So let me get my lid here. So there's that. I'm going to put my lid on it and I'm just going to put it in the 350 degree oven and let that bake for an hour. When it's done, I'll show you how it looks. And there you have it. It looks so good. And it tastes as good as it looks. Now what I did, I took a single package of chicken gravy and mixed it up in the pot on the stove, a little saucepan. And I cooked that down just a little bit to thicken it up. And the last 10 minutes of cooking, my uh, little hen and potatoes and carrots, I drizzled that uh, cup of gravy over top of it and baked it for another 10 minutes till it was nice and brown on top and it just adds to the flavor so much and like i said this is a simple meal for one or two people you don't have to make a great big turkey dinner to enjoy a nice holiday meal when there's just one or two people in your home these little hens are perfect and also another thing i've done before is these little hens you can actually take them you can fry them roast them obviously i have actually boiled one down and used it to make chicken and noodles with or taken the leftover meat i had from a hen and made my chicken and noodle broth and boiled the bone and gotten the bone broth off makes the best chicken and noodle base so there's just another option you have for making a meal for one or two and enjoying the holiday season i hope you all have a blessed day and if you've not hit my subscribe button subscribe and like uh, the video and leave a comment below if you have tried this or are going to try it. Have a blessed day.